What's going on, everybody? It's Thursday, September 29th, 2022, episode 19 of Daily Logs. Today, we're going to be covering US 500 and what unfolded. It was a pretty classic down day, um, or bearish day, should I say. It's something that I, um, I was neutral yesterday coming into the day. And I noted that we closed underneath the discount low of this fair value gap on the daily time frame. We traded right up a little bit above the equilibrium. And we opened and immediately rallied lower. What I'm expecting for tomorrow is for us to run out this sell side liquidity resting underneath here. I haven't checked. I don't think there's news. But the reason I'm stating all this is because I've mentioned every week on Thursday, tomorrow, look at PO3 of the weekly time frame. So open high, low close. And to me, I think we possibly could expand lower looking at it. I don't think we're going to retrace back up into the weekly range. We did take out sell side looking at the other two indexes. NASDAQ still hasn't. Actually, did it today. We just barely tagged it. I think NASDAQ can continue lower as well. Uh, US 30 has taken out the low as well. So I'm expecting lower prices tomorrow. The overall target, final target for me is going to be the Wednesday or Tuesday low. So this low here would be ultimately what I'd be targeting after we get underneath this low. We could trade back up into the range, but that's all I'm expecting. So let's cover what happened today. Yesterday I noted we traded back up to this fair value gap. It's in a premium relative from a dealing range high down to a dealing range low. And we ultimately just traded lower. I stated yesterday if this fair value gap had any bullish I guess, action, then we could expect higher prices. I was only bullish unless we closed above this fair value gap. Otherwise, I was bearish overall. Looking at the one-hour time frame, we ran out the buy-side liquidity here. Displaced lower. If you actually go to your e-mini S&P, the futures contract, for some reason, the indexes had a gap in the price action, which I didn't really like. So I'm actually going to go over to ES and cover what happened prior to New York session. So we displaced higher after we took out the buy side liquidity. We had our market structure shift here. And then we retraced back into a premium and a fair value gap. So that's what you'd be looking for for the YouTube model. We took out the buy side liquidity resting here, traded into that four hour fair value gap. We displaced lower, and we came into this fair value gap here. And then you'd be targeting PD arrays or sell side liquidity. So you could have been targeting the lows underneath here. There was a lot of sell side built up from yesterday underneath this low, and then this low as well. So you could have been targeting that. Price retraced back into this fair value gap, used it as a reclaim PD array, we also traded back into this fair value gap as well. The body respected it nicely here. We displaced once more. And then we came into this bearish order block here. And this was right before the open, which kind of sucked, I believe. Or maybe it was right at the open. So right at 8.30 or 9.30, we displaced lower. So we are already residing inside of that five-minute fair value gap. We're in a deep premium relative from dealing range high down on a dealing range low. We had the bearish order block, and then we traded lower. Coming into the later portion of New York session, right before lunch, we traded into this for value gap here. Look at the body closure. Especially for value gaps like this, expect them to be left pretty wide open relative from dealing range high down on a dealing range low, we are inside of a premium above equilibrium. So you could add your position here and you could have gauged your 
risk however you would like. But above equilibrium there, I wouldn't really like it as much. And you could have been targeting the sell side liquidity resting underneath this low here. We had sell side here, the remaining for value gap or imbalance you could have targeted and then had a final partial underneath this low as well. We actually traded back up into the range. I think on the five minute, there's a couple good setups as well. I think the five minute gives the best perspective. You're looking at this fair value gap here. There's the remaining portion from this high here up to this low as well. And inside of all that, on maybe like a two minute or one minute, that's the YouTube model. We're residing inside of that higher time frame for value gap. And if you refine it even more, you have the two minute for value gap nicely placed here. You had the buy side liquidity being ran. And then you had your displacement lower for value gap here. Nice displacement from the higher time frame PD array and side of the higher time frame premium. Displaced lower. And then you had a fair value gap once more here. I think ICT had a video over this today. You sold off here. Price displaced lower. Fair value gap right here. And then we have this fair value gap as well. So a lot of good shorting opportunities. Just barely touched the discount low of that. You could have been targeting targeting the uh, sell side liquidity resting underneath here. So there's a lot of shorting opportunities today. I think it was uh, quite beautiful, to be honest. I didn't trade today. Again, I've already met my weekly goal. <clears throat> but all I'm doing is just studying price, tape reading, getting my reps in. And that's the most important thing. Like, am I mad or upset that I didn't catch any of this? Not at all. I just wait until next week. I keep my account growing at a steady equity curve. And the less times I'm in the market, the less times that I have the chance of losing. And of course, there's a potential of obviously winning, but I'd rather keep it that way. So going into tomorrow, I would be, let me go back up to US 500. I would be looking for this low here. So 35.99, this is what I'd be ultimately looking for. Let me go back to ES here. This is delayed time, but I think there is maybe a four hour for value. Let me go up to the US 500. So we've already reacted off of this. No, we haven't. This could be a breakaway gap, or we could possibly trade back up into it. I really wouldn't like price trading back up into the equilibrium of this range here before taking out that low. Say we trade back up above the equilibrium here. That to me is a absolute no trade because now you're stuck inside of dealing range high here, dealing range low, dealing range high to dealing range low. So anything, even if you were to do this dealing range, if you were to trade back above that equilibrium, that's very low probability. I would rather see price stay heavy down and take out 35.99. And after we get underneath that low, we could potentially see a rally back into the close of the day slash week and then start off Monday. That's what I'd be expecting for tomorrow. I think that's going to be it for tonight. Until tomorrow, good luck and good trading.